Some days it's quite difficult to come up with subjects to talk about on here. Some days I'm just not up to it, some days I'm very busy, some days, well, currently I'm playing Mass Effect too much, Mass Effect 2 too much, I should say. But some days are just gifts. Some days things just fall into your lap. I mean, some days you discover about things like seacaptaindate.com, you know. <laughs> Uh, look that one up, it's a previous video. Um, you know, you discover wonderful things like that. Or things that you're not happy with, but you want to talk about. You know, you just so, some days things come up much more easier than others. Today is one, of the, is one of those days where something has come up. And I raced to the computer to tell you about it. It's called the Easy Line. Now, I've gone on to uh, their official website. They're an Australian company who work in uh, clothesline technology. Basically, the easy line is the pegless washing line. A pegless washing line? How does that work? Well, if you go to the homepage of easyline.com.au, uh, easy line, your smart peg. Mm. Why is easy line so easy? It saves you money as no pegs are required, it is strong and built to last for years. Now you're probably thinking, it's just a bit of string then, Do you, is it just a bit of string that you throw a clothes over? No. What they've done is they've got these strings of brightly coloured links, essentially, interlocking links. And the links are basically a sort of very, a sort of oblong um, shape connected into each other of plastic and then in the middle it's got a little groove which you can insert clothes in so instead of getting like the clothes peg which we have here and just opening the clothes peg and closing it down on the clothes what you do is it's got slightly bigger holes that you insert say your sock into and it holds it in place that's what they're saying it's hassle and stress free they claim which is easy to set up get drying in minutes and easy to use. It's practical and versatile, holds up to 30 kilograms. Each pack is two meters, and or remove easy links to change the length. It's also environmentally friendly. It is UV stabilized for outdoor use and is 100% recyclable. And there's a five year guarantee. Try Easy Line today and you'll dry laughing. Yeah, they're that sort of business. It's a load of bollocks, I'm sorry, but I just don't like the idea of it. It's, it's ridiculous, um, the easy line. Basically, you know, the advert shows, you know, this young woman, uh, she's got one, like, two metre string and just hung up either end of a garden, you know, like the old fashioned, just one line, both line. She's hanging up some socks on it, and then she walks past, grabs, like, there's like a row of five socks, she grabs one, she walks past and all five come off it, very easily. It's fun to take the clothes off now. Um, it's just the way the advert talks. It's like, are you tired of the tyranny of pegs? Has anyone ever suffered a tyranny of pegs? I mean, I understand pegs can be used to, you know, pinch the skin in particular ways. Okay, actually, now I think about it, there may be some bedroom antics which refer to the tyranny of pegs, but I meant in a washing sense, in a strictly what they were intended for sense. Pegs are really useful. I like the peg. I do. I basically hang up all the washing at my house, which contains six people. So I'm out there fairly re frequently. I like pegs. I like wooden pegs better than plastic ones as well. Plastic ones are quite brittle and break easily. A wooden peg is good. I like the peg. It's also useful for, you know, other things, you know, like, well, mostly sealing up bags, you know, if you've got, say, a bag of pasta, and you've cut it open, and you've only used half the pasta, peg it up, it's great, it stops air getting to it, or pasta getting out of it, or creatures getting into it, you know, that sort of thing. You know, peg can also be used to prevent smell in a very sort of comical cartoon fashion. You know, they're just things I can think of at the moment. The peg, there is nothing wrong with the peg, and the easy line is annoying me. I'm not happy with a lot of these products which come out and are like gimmicky. Very gimmicky. Like the 
I, I don't think I've talked about this one before, which surprised me, but you know the the uh, motion sensitive hand soap? You know, where it's got the soap and the bottle. You know the, your hand washed by the sink, you push down the lever, soap comes out, and then you get the soap on your hands and you wash your hands. The advert claimed that the top of that soap thing, because that's where everyone goes with dirty hands to get the soap, whenever they touch the top of that, oh, it's dirty. Oh. Now that's disgusting. What are we going to do? I know. Instead of doing that action, we'll do it so that when you put your hand underneath where the, uh, where the soap dispenser is, it just comes out automatically. And therefore, you have to avoid touching the top of that. The problem with that is, one, it's very, you know, it's needlessly expensive to buy that. And the reason it's needlessly expensive, because when you put your hand on top of, you know, the pump to put soap into your hand, right? Yes, you're getting the germs, if there are any, you know, deadly sort of, you know, cholera germs on top of that, right? What happens next? When you've caught smallpox from the top of your soap, you know, what happens? You put soap on this hand, and then you wash it. It is completely needless, you know. It defeats the purpose of having the motion-sensitive thing, because even though you are touching the top, which may have germs on it, you are about to wash your hands. Nobody puts soap onto their hand and then just leaves it there. For an hour, you know, we're going, oh, you know, <laughs> no, I won't wash this hand yet. It's ridiculous. The easy line is ridiculous, you know, yeah, it's. It, it, it shows those sort of, you know, the, I always forget the name of these things, the easy, uh, the easy lines you're using, you know, the, the clothes pegs that are on like the big spinny spiral structure, you know, with the metal bits and the line. Which, yeah, we have one of them. I always forget what they're called. They show one comprised entirely of Easy Line. Now, some of you might think, oh, this is great. You know, it's simple, it's clean, it's adjustable, fits anywhere and portable. I'm reading some of the uh, customer feedback, uh, our customer reviews. Uh, somebody says, uh, this is a great Aussie invention that's a place in every backyard. No, it doesn't. I'm not having it in mind. Sorry, but it's ridiculous. And it says... Designed to last with a guarantee of five years. Okay, so they reckon the life expectancy is five years minimum. Now, that's pretty good for a product. I'll give it that. If that's true, that's great. But how much does it cost to buy an easy line in beautiful blue or gorgeous green or cheeky charcoal or mellow yellow or majestic mauve or perfect pink or sensitive silver or raunchy red? They're the names of the colours. Well, to buy any two-metre pack, which consists of two metres of easy, of easy line, uh, easy licks, as they're called. And this is easy spelled E-Z-Y, by the way. Um, and some bits of string and stuff. One two-metre pack is $21, including freight. So, that's not bad, right? $21 for two metres, right? How many things can you hang up on a two-metre washing line? In terms of socks, you could probably get 20. That's the most. Now, how much is it to buy 20 pegs? 20 good, durable, wooden pegs. You can probably buy a, a pack of 50 for about $5, right? So that's, I would say, you know, about five... I'm just trying to work through the maps on the head there. You've got five metres of hanging up ability on perfectly good washing line for much less money. Now, I understand that pegs do get damaged, you know, sometimes, you know, they, they get twisted in the wind and they're all broken and they're no use, or they fall off and a dog chews it, you know, and that's, you know, the pegs aren't indestructible. But the point is, you know, over five years, you may lose the equivalent of an entire pack of pegs, which cover more than two metres. You go out and buy another packet, again, five to ten dollars at most. Easy line, a one two metre line, it's $21. If you wanted to fill one of those big spinny things, I can't remember the name down there. I'm just, you know, there's eight lines ranging from about 50 centimetres to about two and a half metres in length. Just working on a sort of logistical sort of trying to figure it out, you're going to need about 16 metres of the stuff to do that. Now, 16 metres of that, that's ridiculous. You're going to be spending close to $200 for what, you know, two packets of these could do for about 20. It's ridiculous, I'm sorry. But it's kind of annoyed me. I happen to quite like the peg. And the easy line 
thing is just a load of rubbish. So, there you go. As I say, some days these things just present themselves to you, and they're, uh, they're absolutely wonderful to talk about. So, yes, uh, easy line, your smart peg. It was just the sentence, have you suffered from the tyranny of pegs, which really, really um, got, me, got me going, essentially. You know, as I've said, outside of the bedroom, there is nothing tyrannical about a peg. Right, anyway, that is all for today. Make sure you come back tomorrow, or you will suffer the tyranny of pegs. Uh...